The Great Barrier Reef is important to all Australians, but it's under pressure from a range of impacts like climate change, catchment runoff, fishing and coastal development. The reef closest to the coast is particularly affected by what happens in the catchment. Sediment runoff makes the water cloudy and prevents seagrass and coral getting the sunlight they need to thrive. Nutrient runoff from fertiliser is linked to outbreaks of coral-eating crown of thorn starfish. The Paddock to Reef program is world leading and monitors farming practices, ground cover, water quality, corals and seagrass. The program also uses modelling to estimate progress toward pollution reduction targets as a result of actions taken by landholders to improve water quality leaving their farms. This year's Reef Report Card shows some big efforts are starting to pay off. We're halfway towards the 2018 targets for sediment and pesticides, which is great news. But more effort is needed to use fertiliser more efficiently. That's why we're working with the cane and horticulture industries to help them transition to best practices. Inshore marine condition has improved slightly, with coral going from a D to a C. This is partly due to a few drier years, enabling the reef to recover after repeated cyclones and floods. However, this report card doesn't capture the impacts of this year's mass coral bleaching event. Each year, we also measure uptake of improved land management by farmers and graziers. Many landholders are already doing a great job to protect the reef. The horticulture and grains industries are leading the charge, with almost half the land already under best practice. Some more work is needed in the sugarcane and grazing industries. Cane farmers only need to apply the amount of fertiliser the cane plant needs, and we're giving them the tools to do this. We're helping by providing reef trust funding to sugarcane growers to trial innovative approaches. Early results show 86 tonnes less of nitrogen was applied in the wet tropics in 2015 to 16. Graziers can help by keeping ground cover in place and preventing gullies. With support from government, scientists and community groups, farmers are making a difference. For example, 402 graziers and 836 sugarcane growers participated in the best management practice programs in 2014 to 15, and we're encouraging more to do the same. We're using a range of tools, including the recent costing study commissioned by the Great Barrier Reef Water Science Task Force to ensure our funding is targeted to the most effective actions. We know that everyone needs to do their part to improve water quality, not just farmers. This is why we'll be working with local governments, industry and communities to identify the steps they can take to reduce runoff. We also know we need increased monitoring that can provide more direct information to farmers. So we're rolling out additional monitoring and working with innovators to develop cheaper sensors. We are all in this together. We acknowledge the achievements already made and will continue to work with our partners to do all we can to improve reef water quality. To find out more, visit reefplan.qld.gov.au.